Hi, I'm Maddie. Hi, I'm Katie. Hi, I'm Rebecca. We're here to tell you about why you recycle, when you recycle, and where to recycle. We've done some interviewing, a lot of research, and a bunch of recycling. We hope you enjoy our movie. Uh, my name is Mr. Warford. I'm the assistant principal here at the middle school, and I'm also um, one of the uh, one of the participants on the green team, which is the district-wide committee that looks at our school and ways that we can be greener. Um, why do we recycle? Why do we recycle? <laughs> That's a great question. We have one planet. That's it, and we have a limited only a certain amount of water, air, and resources. And if we pollute it up or if we use it up, that's all we have. So as the population gets larger, we have to be, our, our, our theme of our environmental programs is the statement, are you conscious of what you consume? Are you aware of what you use each day? And if we just throw things away like they don't matter or pollute the planet like it doesn't matter, then your generation is going to be in big trouble. Uh, how do we tell how much we recycle? Well, in each school has a different number of paper recycling containers and commingled glass, plastic, and metal recycling containers. So uh, one of the main ways that we tell how much we recycle in the middle school, we actually weigh the paper. So we know exactly how many pounds of paper we recycle. And you can tell by how full one of the large totes are approximately how much paper you recycle. So um, for some of the schools, we estimate based on how many large totes we fill. At the middle school, we actually weigh that. And it's the same thing with the glass, plastic, and metal. And um, in terms of how do we know if we can do more, um, look in the garbage can. If there's paper in the garbage can, if there are plastic bottles or yogurt containers or recyclable materials that are in the garbage can, those are all things that we could be putting in the recycling. Uh, in Eagle, which is a champion of recycling, we have the TerraCycling programs, which I believe are candy bar wrappers, chip bags, juice pouches, pens. We recycle inkjet cartridges. Uh, in many schools, we recycle cell phones. We recycle cardboard at every one of the schools, and many of the schools now use metal flatware, which is real silverware, so we don't throw away thousands of forks or plastic spoons every single week. Right, and um, what do we do with our leftover food? The food waste that is composted is turned back into soil and then put back into our school gardens. So we have a large, here in the middle school, we have a large, large composter. It's called an earth tub with a huge auger because we compost thousands of pounds of food waste every single month. And all of that compost then gets turned back into soil and then we put it back into our school garden and each of the elementary schools that have smaller composters for their either cafeteria or their snack waste, all that is turned into a tumble composter and that goes back into either the flower gardens or the school. In 2013, our school district recycled 120,000 pounds of paper. 120,000 pounds is the same as 10 male elephants, 30 average weight cars, and 1,200 kids. Wow, we must do a lot of recycling.